Okay, it's Andy Graham of uh, Malaria NIMBY. I'm working on a project to stop malaria, looking for the root causes. And uh, I bought this mosquito net for $5. I had to start over because, um, oh yeah, oh shit, the corner just broke. Okay, so what you got to do is you got to set these things up. This particular mosquito net was $5, probably made in China. Uh, as you see this board, which is not included with the mosquito net, right? What it does is it allows me to make it into a rectangular, right? Um, the way a mosquito works, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this set up. Oh, they haven't got it. This is, this is a $5 one. You can buy these things as low as $3. I think the UNICEF probably pays, oh, it's kind of a the bed net scam. Okay, the way the way a mosquito net works is you, you put it on like this, right? Oh, this one has a door with it. Damn. Okay. Okay, then they turn on the fan. Hopefully, if they have one. And what happens is, is that eventually it starts blowing off of you. Okay? And then this hole allows mosquitoes in. So the way, the way you deal with the mosquito net during the day normally is you take it and you roll it over the bed like this. This is, this is up too high. So for the size of the mosquito net and the type of the thing. So, I really need to have this about this high, and then it'd be uncomfortable. So really, this mosquito net's just not going to work on this bed very well. But the mosquito net cost five dollars, but the thing here cost uh, fifteen. So when you don't give them the boards and the connection, then then what they do is, if if you didn't have this board and you tried to tie it to the wall, you have to also have a string and fasteners to tie it to the wall. You you look over here in the corner, and there's absolutely uh, nothing on a concrete wall to attach to. A lot of times I attach to door hinges. Let's see if I can show you the door hinge over there. There's a door hinge, a hook under the door hinge. If I had to set it up in a room, then I would put a, a eyelet screw up here in the corner in the wood roof over here. And then I would be tying to the window and I would be doing all sorts of stuff. If this isn't supplied, and this is the problem I have is that the actual wood frame costs more than a mosquito net, so you give somebody something and then they have no way to set it up. Okay, now I'm going to set up my mosquito net and show you. This one is way too short and if you try to tuck it in, uh, you got to understand it. You, to really keep the mosquitoes out, you have to tuck it in. And it has to stay tucked in and no mosquitoes, because mosquitoes will work their way in. And, you know, now I'm going to set up mine. Okay, Andy Graham, I'm going to set up the mosquito net that I designed. Shut off the fan so I can sweat. I have a compression bag. I don't know what it was used for originally. I found it, I think, in Brazil. Compression bags are pretty cool if you have to carry a mosquito net, because mosquito nets, I don't know, they can take up a lot of space. Especially mine, because it's so nice. Okay, so the bottom line is when you need a mosquito net, they normally don't have this. This is just a most mosquito nets, I mean, if you really want to stop malaria, walk around in houses and look how they attach the mosquito net, and you'll realize that the whole mosquito net thing's kind of a boondaggle. boondaggle. Just install screens in the windows, it's the same amount of money, and it's permanent, and they don't rip them. Beds are very dangerous to mosquito nets. This thing took me a lot of work to make. To put together, I bought a I bought a mosquito net, and then I think I don't know Shola and Hampi India, I think, helped me expand it. Now you have two different types of mosquito net. Oh, I'm in a hurry and I didn't really undo the uh, thing. But when you arrive in a city, what's going to happen is 
The sad part is people arrive at 6 o'clock at night and they, find, they discover they need to put a mosquito net up, right? And it's dark and you got one light and then there's no hooks in the wall and there's no way to do it. So you're spending your whole time trying to figure out how to get something to fasten it to. Whoa, that was in there. Okay. Maybe I rolled it up good. Okay. I doubt it. Okay. It's, uh, mosquito nets tear real easy. They're like, uh, they're like stockings, right? They're like nylon stockings. Best way to look at it. They're like a nylon stocking. Now mine has all the strings on it <laughs> ready to tie on, okay? And, uh, I will just tie it on. Okay, so I have already purchased the strings. Now, what is little, to, to stop malaria, <laughs> they need to include the strings, the fasteners, everything, okay? You got a person with very little intelligence, and they don't even have the hundred francs to do it, and you're trying to do them a favor, right? And bottom line is just a little bit of an excuse, and they they don't uh, they don't do it. Mine's lucky because the thing's white on top, right? And oh, I have it on wrong. Okay, I think you'll be able to see it anyway. Well, bottom line is I don't have any way to do it. I use uh, clothespins a lot with these uh, mosquito nets. Okay. Let's see if. Uh... Okay, you can see that it's sagging, right? And it's kind of light for a way. But what I've got is two different features. I've got a door on this thing. I'll show you the door after I'm done, okay? So what's special about my mosquito net is that I can tuck it all the way in. Better find the fastening. Where is the pull cord? Oh, here, I'm lucky. It's right in the good spot. Okay, so I'm going to put that under the edge of the mattress. Okay, and then I have a pull cord. So what I do is I pull it up tight and I make it go under the, the mattress like a fitted sheet. Then it fits in here. Uh, normally, I don't have all this and I'm tying it to the roof so it's a little higher, right? Up here on the end is a, uh, a hammock string, so I put a hammock through here, go all the way through, and, uh, well, I'm going to see if I got my, uh, I don't have it, but clothes pins are a wonderful thing, okay, and safety pins, and you can, I could tie this up here and do different things, I guess I could take the, but this is for the hammock, okay, and that's got a little clothes pin, so the hammock can go in here. I can put this thing on the bottom, I can pull it all the way up and sleep in the hammock, and then I take clothes pins to uh, do it. But the value of this is, is that it's always an enclosed environment. It goes underneath the mattress, and there's no way for when I turn the fan on for it to blow up. So what I can do is I can sit here and just act. The reason why people don't use mosquito nets is they're hot. They're really hot. You get inside this thing and it, it holds the thing. But I have a door. I'll climb inside. It's really not that complicated because I just just a like a tunnel you go into. So I climb inside. I usually run my reading right in here. Then I twist this around and then I put a couple clothes pins and I got the door. Uh, after a really long time in a mosquito net area, you kind of got to spray inside the mosquito net to kill off anything that got in during the day. I don't ever take it off the bed except to change the sheets. And 
fucked up, but the door is on the wrong side here for you guys to see it with the camera. But, now remember, when you're setting this thing up, it's probably going to be 6 o'clock at night, getting dark in a room with one light and no hooks and stuff. Now I'm going to show you how to hook it up without the wood. See if I can. Okay, this is how I normally have to set up a mosquito net. They don't have any screens on the window, and I have to find places to do it. This bed will... I would... I'm going to move the bed over. Something falling. Okay, then I would, again, put it under the mattress. I hate putting it on under and below the mattress because one little rip is very difficult to repair, repair. So making the bed, but you can see that this is really awkward. I have my door here on the right side now. And this is set up. So. This is 90% of the time how I set a mosquito net up. I don't, I'm going to take this off and show you what I did. I came up with a hanger that I just happened to have, right? Are you carrying hangers? And I hooked it onto this wood roof. I tied it onto the window. Windows are great things to tie things to. I put another hanger over here and then I also put it on the hinge. The only thing you're almost guaranteed in a room is the hinge and the window, something to window. And most, th this is a very unusual room because it has a wood ceiling. So this is essentially what a mosquito net looks like in your room. Now, I very seldom use the mosquito net anymore because of a simple thing I, I do, but this I used it, I think the last time I used it I was in Rurumbaki, Bolivia and everybody was sleeping inside a very, very hot uh, house with no mosquito net. And I just walked outside, set up my uh, hammock, pulled the thing up, slept in complete comfort while everybody else slept inside and cooked, okay? But you can see I can put the hammock on the end of this. And if I wanted to sleep outside in the rain, I actually used to carry, I, I, I get a piece of plastic and I put it over there and I string it. And I make a tent over this and then use pieces of plastic. Of course, problem with wind, right? But this works and, and with the cord I can pull it up tight and then I use, uh, I use uh, clothes pins and things and safety pins to close it. I'm now going to show you uh, my newer system which is much simpler and easier. This is just, uh, I have three different sizes of uh, mosquito net pieces big enough to cover about three windows from really big window to small and what I do is I put this over the window then I take uh, just tape, uh, this is packing tape and I tape it shut so I would put it over this window and then just tape it shut around the thing and I've created a screen on the window. And essentially, if you think about it, putting screens in the window are much simpler than mosquito nets. What is the value of mosquito net? A mosquito net is, for me to carry, it, it, it's the difference between uh, getting bit all night and not. The place where I needed it the most was actually in Brug, Belgium, in a about a $40 a night hotel that the lady gave me for uh, trading to make a website at stuff. And she had this huge window, no screens in the window. And I didn't bring the mosquito net, and I was really hurting. And, but now I would have carried the mosquito net material and just taped it over. And you know, people don't like you to tape under windows, but most of the time the ones that uh, don't have screens. Bottom line, if a hotel doesn't have a screen and they're giving you a mosquito net, they're a chintzy hotel. They're just cheap. Now, if I rented this room to somebody, I would give them the mosquito net for security reasons, just to let them think that they were always safe, but say, hey, the screens stop all the mosquitoes. And truthfully, the screens do. But I got a door. What's special about mine is door, I got the uh, way to put a hammock on, and I've already got about uh, 
two meters of the best best string is a parachute parachute cord and then and then I, I also carry uh, eyelet screws and different things so that I can hook into the wall and screw into the wall and make a hook but the truth is when you give and the sad part is that they give these things to people with no money and they want them to fasten them to concrete walls and this room is incredibly nice but the average room is just a concrete wall concrete ceiling steel roof whatever and no place to fasten and they're asking a person to pound nails into concrete well that's my story on mosquito nets and I, I will continue to carry this mosquito net with me everywhere the, I guess maybe the last time I used it was in uh, Dominican Republic I was in uh, La Vega and the hotel was some sort of love hotel and uh, they basically was very cheap and I very dirty and I just hung the mosquito net put my light inside there and read and was living in complete comfort inside a very very bad room a mosquito net is when when you have no choice because the only room that you happened to get that night was that but I had no choice in Brugge what was I supposed to do I got bit every night I uh, I had a real problem there because I didn't I didn't have as much experience as I do now and uh, I didn't carry the right things but I, I will carry this forever with me because I, I'm a traveler I mean but what do I really recommend you buy a mosquito net you cut it up into like a four by no six by eight piece really the top of these mosquito nets is just exactly what you want because they got little hooks on the end and you can tie these on the edge of the window so you just cut the top off cut a side off cut a couple little pieces for the bathroom windows and then uh, carry a roll of, of uh, what do you call it packing tape and then smear it on and I remember being in Guatemala in uh, Don Carlos's hotel and he I come back and he like brings me I think some packing tape that I'd left there and talked about me installing screens but he didn't see a need to to do it because truthfully your clients don't complain they just people just I don't know what they do they just live with these things and I don't know how you live with mosquitoes all night and every night I mean the human ability to like tolerate bullshit is amazing but the pull cord on the bottom of this thing really is needed and I, I made it extra long right and uh, what this does the pull cord makes it stay tucked in and I can put two fans on this thing and it's never going to blow out if you watch the movie Martha Mary Martha and Mary or something an HBO movie about thing you will actually it's, it's asinine they show a mosquito entering through through the mos a hole that's torn because uh, there's no tears in this one tear no kid they'll find it and you can't let this touch t stuff touch your skin when it's not tucked in it'll touch your skin and no they'll, they'll bite you right through the mosquito net so you can't be touching the mosquito net but in the movie about malaria the, the mosquito net comes in bites her child the child dies which is pretty hokey and then at the end of the movie what are they giving they're giving mosquito nets it's just oh you you sit there and go don't you see your nose for your face the solution for malaria you can see that the cost of just the mosquito net material to cover this window would be nothing compared to a complete mosquito net okay Andy Graham trying to talk about mosquito nets and I uh, haven't found many people that are willing to uh, live in luxury I, I, I basically am not going to spend I, I spent one night in Montezuma Costa Rica and I said that's it never again in my life am I going to sit up for 10 hours trying to get the mosquitoes off of me you know you put mosquito repellent on your body and it's your body's an organ and it's just not what you want to put on your skin and sleep on it it's really really not intelligent especially in this granola for lunch bunch world we live in okay bye bye okay I want you to know I'm National Geographic adventure traveler traveler I go to Iraq I go to the Amazon River I go to places that 99 percent of you are not going to go I'm all the way I've been to Africa like 10 times 
most of you, if you're only going to one country, you call me up and you want some consulting, I can actually show, tell you just roughly how big a risk it is. But if you're going to the jungle and you don't have a mosquito net, you're making a jungle trip and you don't have a mosquito net, you get what you deserve. Tonight, let's flip a call.